All right, um, something I need to remind you of is an oxidation number. It's just another way of saying net charge of the ion. So remember, when we're finding the charge, we're comparing the protons to the electrons. So that's the net charge. Remember that groups, groups are right here going across, which uh, indicate the columns going down. So the group numbers are at the top, going vertically, and periods are on the sides, going left to right, telling us the number of energy levels. All right, you should have already watched the video that I sent through Edmodo. You also need to know that a stable, you might want to write these in your journal. Um, a stable ion is one that has a full outer shell, so that these, I, these atoms want to be full um, and happy with an outer shell, so they're trying to achieve a full outer shell. A covalent bond is when atoms sh sh fill this outer shell by either sharing electrons, I'm sorry, by sharing electrons to get to that outer octet rule that you learned about in the video, which octet meaning eight. That means full. Ionic bond is when they gain or lose an electron to fill that octet rule. So you should remember we're covalent and ionic. All right, so on your worksheet, I'm gonna do a couple examples with you and then show you how to do the back. So chlorine, gotta go find chlorine right here. Symbol is 17. The number of electrons would be 17 because that's the atomic number. Now remember, that's also the number of protons. You'll need that over here when you find the net charge or the oxidation number. All right, so number of valence electrons. Now we could draw that and see that it's two, eight, and then seven would be on the outer ring to get to 17, two, eight, and seven. Or we could just come over here to chlorine and we learned that the group up here, 7A, tells us that chlorine and everything else in this group has seven valence electrons. So seven goes here. Now, the goal for this is to get this to eight. We can either gain electrons to fill that outer shell and make it happy or stable, or we can lose. So whatever's quicker. So you wanna do the fastest way to get there. So since we're so close to eight, we're going to gain one to get to eight. So now chlorine gained one. So if it has 18 electrons now, because remember we had 17, the charge is going to be negative one because I have one more electron. All right, let's do one more example. Potassium over here is K. So K is the symbol. The number of electrons, since it's the atomic number 19, is 19. Again, to find valence, we're gonna go straight up to 1A. So it's got one on that outer valence level. Now, we could add seven, but that's not very quick. The quickest thing to do here to get the outer shell full is to lose one. So let me explain. So you have two, eight, eight, and then we have one, right? Eight, eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, which is what we need. So if we have one, it's easier to get rid or lose one, then that makes the now outermost shell full. So now, since we lost an electron, we only have 18 electrons, but we still have 19 protons, so our charge is positive one. So you need to keep working through these, answer these questions at the bottom. You'll find the answer to this last one in your notes from a couple weeks ago, uh, what a positive ion and a negative ion are called. So on the back, next thing. You need to answer these questions. The only one you might not be able to answer is this is between a metal and a non-metal. Gave them to this, this, those two in class. So I'm gonna do one exam or two examples with you here. So we're gonna take sodium and chlorine. So we're gonna build the uh, Lewis structures of these. So sodium, we need to know how many valence it has. Sodium has one. So I'm gonna come up here to my beads and I'm gonna put one bead on its uh, outer shell. Chlorine is over here and has seven, so I'm going to put seven on its outer ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you'll see, since we're doing ionic bonds, we're going to gain or lose to fill that outer shell. 
So you can already see what's gonna happen. Sodium's gonna give away its to chlorine. Chlorine's now full for the octet roll. Sodium is now full, because if you remember, it has 11. So now its outer ring is going to have eight, because we lost the one, we gave away the one. Okay, so now we have to draw this over here. So Na had one, chlorine had seven, and what happened was it gave it away to chlorine, and now our new, these atoms combined, or these ions combined, because this one was a negative, this one was now positively charged, this one was negatively charged, so opposites attract, and they form a new compound, NaCl, or salt. All right, one more example up here. Is him up here, Mr. Video Man? All right, next one we're gonna do is magnesium and iodine. All right, magnesium, also, let's come over here. It has two valence electrons, so I put two valence electrons on its outer shell. Iodine, which is way over here in group seven, has seven, so I put seven on it. It's, but you can see if it gives it up to iodine, magnesium's still not happy, or it's still not full on its outer level. So what can we do? We need to give this one away. What we can do is we can bring in another I, give him seven valence electrons, just like the other iodine. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to do this quickly. They're rolling all over the place. So now he's needing one also. So now we give him, they all bond together because they're positives and negatives. And we have happy magnesium and two happy iodines. So when you draw that, you're gonna give one from magnesium, draw your other eye, give him the other one, and now your formula or your compound reads MGI2. So I'll let you go ahead and figure out um, the rest of these four. Just know that if you're gonna use the cards, you'll have to change this one to magnesium. You can still use calcium if you're just gonna draw them, but if you wanna borrow my cards and my beads, you'll need to come figure these for out. You don't have to do the last page. We will do that on Wednesday together, the covalent ones.